ask you, what's it like to suddenly be such a centre of attention with your first show? It's great. It's really good fun. I'm enjoying it. Were you surprised at all the attention you got? Um, I don't think I was surprised because I knew sort of it's been kind of gradual build up to the show, so I've been, you know, I've been aware of what, what's been going on around me for quite a few months now. Now, how did you get all those top girls from the show, Kate Moss and Helena? Um, it's quite a natural process. It wasn't really a controlled um, effort. Um, Helena is a big fan of me. She wears my clothes anyway. Um, as does Kate. And Jade is a very good friend. So how long have you been making clothes for them and how did you come into contact with them in the first place to make clothes for them? Um, I met them. I met Jade through, um, through my clothes. She saw a piece that she really loved and she got in touch with me uh, a few seasons ago. And so we became good friends that way really. Where did you start off selling them? Um, I started selling in Alamode and in Brands. And sort of have grown from there. I mean, now something in Saks and Barnes and Joyce. So describe some of the clothes. I mean, the dress that Helena was wearing got a round of applause, and it was super. I'm <laughs> talking about that dress. That dress was intended for Helena. It was specifically designed for her. Um, the inspiration for the collection was based on, loosely based on things that have wings, dragonflies, butterflies, that kind of thing. So I looked at the structure of those things and just. A thread from that, I decided to do. I wanted to work, look at um, cobwebs. And so it sort of came quite organically from my original ideas. And um, the thing that Kate was wearing, has she asked to buy it or anything? Like she it? has, that's been bags in for Kate. That's definitely her dress. Did you design it specially for her? It wasn't, it wasn't specially for her, no. Um, I mean, I designed the whole collection and she came and saw in our showroom the whole collection. And, that was her favourite piece, so I wanted her to wear what she loved the most. Now, um, this is a slightly offbeat question, perhaps, but in the news at the moment, they're changing the law about what the press can cover, you know, paparazzi. Do you think that's a good thing? Do you find that it's very stressful for the models to constantly be chased around? I think it probably is. I mean, backstage was hectic, like crazy. You couldn't move the photographers. And we were trying to, you know, organise this whole show. Very difficult when you can't actually get to the model for the photographers, from my point of view. But then on the off, off, off side of that, some of the girls love it and they, you know, they enjoy the whole process. It's a difficult balance, isn't it? Because you need the press. Mm, exactly. I think, of course, I mean, it's, it's crucial that they're there, but I just think there just needs to be some kind of you know, distinction between what's, what's okay and what's not. Brilliant. Thanks so much. Away from that way.